Hey there guys, another tutorial here and we are going to be using Photoshop. Um, this is how to make a custom thumbnail. So first you want to open up Adobe Photoshop CS6. Uh, yes you can get the demo, I am actually using it right now. And so first you want to click Nip. So we're going to do custom thumbnail test. Alright, and you want it to be 1,280 pixels by 720, okay? Now, if that just pops up, you click View Pixel Aspect Radio Correction, alright? So, you want to pick a color. I will pick, how about... Let's start with green. Alright. And then you can do some cool designs like download stuff like use a paintbrush. And then I downloaded like paint splatters and all. You can do that if you want. But I'm not. So what you can do is go onto the internet. And then you can search up stuff like, say, for me, it's the thumbnail. You can search up thumb. Let's just do that. All right, this is good. Then you want to drag it into your desktop or whatever. All right. So the good thing is, is that that right there is transparent, which is perfect. So you want to go to your folder. If it's on your desktop, click desktop. Take that, drag it in. Now can make this bigger, smaller, wide, anything. Just click check. And then, so I'll show you what to do if it's not transparent like that. You want to search, I'm going to do YouTube logo. Alright. So this is probably not transparent. Oh, and it is. Just my luck. Alright, guys. Um, I'm getting lucky right now. Which is pretty good. Pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy. Now, if you want to rotate it or something, you can just click Command T. Or... Hold on. Or you could go file. No, edit, free transform. Okay? So, let me just adjust it. Alright, so now I'm going to get something that isn't transparent, hopefully. Curse my luck. Um, how about a photo shop logo? Let's just find a good one. Not a lot. Oh, there we go. This one's perfect. Alright guys, sorry, it just glitched. Um, so now I got it, the logo. And um 
So I'll go back to Photoshop. And then again, do the same thing as I showed. Except this time you want to um do file new. No. You don't have to name it anything. And then make it the size you want. Then you can either use it actually you know what? You wanna go here and instead actually that's not it's not big enough. So I'm gonna grab another one. Um about this one. Okay. Wanna just do that? Matthias eat. We're done. And then eat. and then you want to um just do it however you want. Put it how you want. Click check. Now I want it behind the thumb. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to add a new layer. And then use my paintbrush, do some cool stuff with it. And then pick a color. I'm gonna use red for this one. Just fool around with it. Right, and then gonna put some different ones, maybe a different color, like how about yellow? Just full around. Getting cool stuff, and you can download different things here. Download these online. Alright, and then I'm just going to put a, a uh, small cool one. Just right there. There we go. And, um, you know, I'm going to change the background actually to something more like that. All right. And that's how you do it. Now, I want to click Save As custom thumbnail and click format jpeg save it wherever you want then click save and obviously you want it the maximum all right so as you can see It is right there. 
So you want to go to YouTube. You want to click Fatback Kid. Or, no, not Fat. Sorry. Your thing. Video Manager. Edit. Then it should say custom thumbnail right there. You want to click that. Then you want to click your file and then it should upload. So thanks for watching. And uh, remember to comment, write, subscribe, and like. Thanks.